Hey everybody, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. Welcome to Mad Class. Tonight we're going to work on factorials. Exciting stuff. You're like, what the hell is she talking about? Um, I've been thinking a, a little bit about uh, looking at one of my pores and then wondering to myself, I wonder how different it would have looked if I would have put the orange on top of the red instead of the red on top of the orange, what would the outcome be? How different would this painting look? I'm sure you guys have wondered that yourselves in your own art. And so I thought we'll do a little experiment. The reason I'm calling it factorials is because that's a math term where as you add numbers and try to come up with the variations of those color schemes, um, it grows exponentially. So, I had five colors, and then I realized that the factorial of five colors, that is all the variations, is 120 different combinations, and we would be here all night. And even with just four colors, it is 24 different color combinations. Um, I didn't want to get on to just three colors. Um, maybe I should have, it would have been easier. But we'll just do four out of the 24. Um, and give each cup a different um, order and then throw them on four different pieces that I have and um, see if they're drastically different or not or um, if there's any difference at all, just for fun. So with that said, let's do show and tell real quick. The results from the last video, Misty Mountain Hop here, the um, Shelly Art Style Pouring Medium with all the lacing, it dried fantastic. Fairly happy with it. It'll go up on uh, my Etsy shop after the holiday. And then um, I had a couple people write to me and said, there's nothing in your Etsy shop. And I was like, aw, because there is. But they were talking about um, there's no more functional art available. So I've been making a few pieces to get out to you guys, um, you know, because I know they make great holiday presents. So um, a couple pieces. I did one I wanna talk about. Um, I'll have a couple more clocks coming. This is a Shelly Art Style clock. Uh, it still needs a coat of resin, but man, it's in uh, blue, green, purple, and the gold. Uh, very, very dramatic. That'll be available. And then I did go ahead and make some more purse boxes because they seem pretty popular. So just real quick, a little quick preview. If you want one before it hits my Etsy shop next week, write to me. I'll reserve it for you. Happy to do so. Um, this will be one. Not resin, not stained or sanded or finished yet, but this it has the initial pour. So that's one. Yeah, oh, this is my favorite. This is two. Like that. Very pretty too. I got one of the little baby guys. Oh wait, move my hands. Oh, there's one side there, and there's the other side. So it's three. And then I wanted to talk about a clock I made. I posted it everywhere because I'm kind of proud of it. And you'll probably see this in an upcoming video. And it's this guy right here. And the reason why I'm pointing it out is because it's a combination um, of two things. It's already, it's sold in like a day. It's already gone. Um, I'm going to miss it. But this, this clock was made by me combining two styles. One is a Dutch pour because, you know, Rinska does fabulous work. So I was like, let me go watch some of her videos again um, to see how she blows uh, with her hair dryer. <laughs> And then using the pouring medium um, from the Shelly Art style. So that means the house paint with, you know, the untinted paint and all of that. And then using titanium, no, I use carbon black as my cell activator. So basically the Shelly Art style and the Dutch pour are very similar in that they're both basically puddle pours that are blown out, right? Um, one uses mostly water and thinner paints, and the other one has a whole process 
for getting blooms, but the bloom is separate from the pouring medium. So I used the pouring medium from the Shelly Art um, style class, whatever, with the Dutch pour technique and blew it out. And this is the result. And it, I got to say, it's fabulous because it's a combination of cells and lacing and drama and um, it worked really well. Um, and I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So I plan on doing a video where we merge those two things together and uh, do more with that. So, what am I, five, five and a half minutes of you guys staring at me. Fast forward, y'all. Let me get you down on our tonight's. Um, these were all like little scrape projects, so if they don't work out, no big deal. And plus, the colors I'm using tonight are a request for a commission. Um, so I always want to get the colors for a commission right. So I figured this would also be a good way to play around and see which which layering version I'd like for the commission. So killing two birds with one stone. So um, pouring medium, back to my tried and true. That is the four ounces of water, eight ounces of the golden gloss color pouring medium and 12 ounces of Elmer's Glue All. Make that batch up separately before you add it to your pink colors. Pink colors will come up on the screen, but it's essentially black, um, alizarin, crimson U, um, magenta, and gold. Those are the colors. And I'm what I'm going to do for my uh, factorial little project is write these down as I go. So I'm going to say, you know, cup one, two, three, four. Oh, can I give a shout out real quick to Monica for sponsoring me? Much appreciated. And if anyone is interested in keeping me in paint and filming, um, the PayPal me uh, link is in the description. So four different layering and then we'll throw it on four different things. So I'm just going to do this. We'll put black in one. We'll do each color on the bottom. So this one will have black on the bottom. And we'll just layer all four real quick and throw them on. Oh, huh. I forgot my silicone. I haven't been using it lately. I'll just put one tiny drop in that black right there. Let me put three in the black. We'll just put three in each color and give those a good stir. And I'll try to remember to stir again as I go along. So I have a question for you guys, a really w random, weird question. Let me know in the comments. Who the hell is drinking orange juice with high pulp? I mean, if you're gonna drink that much pulp, just eat an orange. <laughs> I was annoyed because I was in two different grocery stores and I guess, you know, it was a mad rush because everybody's getting ready for Thanksgiving and I couldn't find orange juice with no or medium pulp. And I was like, not that, I assume a lot of people aren't drinking it because it's all they had left at the grocery stores. But if you're one of those people, I want to hear about it because I just, I don't know. Blech. Ugh. Yuck, I say. All right, a color in each. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, change this up because I'm gonna be able to write these down. So let's just do this first cup. Can you guys see the cups? Yeah. So this one's gonna be black. We'll do black, pink, the gold, and the crimson. Black, pink, gold, crimson. So that's cup number one. So I'll just put initials and we'll do that on the box lid. So I'll say lid is black, pink, gold, and a C for crimson. All right, cup number two with the crimson, that's gonna be the clock. So I'll say clock is crimson, crimson, gold, 
black. And pink. And I'm going to need a little more because it's a clock. So let me do a second layer. So the crimson, gold, just a little bit of black, and the pink or magenta, whatever, you know what I mean. All right, and so crimson, gold, black, pink is the clock. So I'm gonna set that one on the clock. This is the one for the lid. And I have a, um, a little purse box, so the two sides of the purse box. So side one, will be, let's start with the pink. Do pink, crimson, gold, black. And that should be plenty for that. So pink, crimson, gold, black. So P, C, G, B. And then the fourth one, the other side, we'll start off with the gold, and we'll do gold, pink, crimson, black. Whoops, that's not black, this is black. All right, there we go. And that will be on box four. This is on side A. So that was gold, crimson, pink. No, gold, pink, crimson, black. All right, so we'll see if any of these are similar to each other, if they all kind of look the same. There is the big var two big variations. One is how much paint I'm putting in each cup. So this is a, definitely not gonna be scientific, but it should give us a general idea. One is, you know, if this is really scientific, I would have measured like a half an ounce and poured each one in so they had the exact amount of paint for each layer. And then the other big variable obviously is the flip, right? Because every time you flip, it moves the paint in the cup and changes up changes the game but I'm gonna flip all four of these so go one I'll move the other ones on camera two the cup the clock three and the box lid four and wipe off my hands put on some gloves going uh, up to my hometown of Pittsburgh for Thanksgiving, see my sister and her family. And I asked, I'm like, do you want me to bring anything? Bring dessert, bring a pie, something? And, <laughs> and she and my nephew and my niece all said, oh no, 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 that's okay. You don't have to do anything. You just show up. And I'm like, uh, okay. And I didn't know whether to be happy or insulted. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> all right. This is the box lid. So this has black, pink, gold, and crimson. So let's see what happens. And I'm just gonna try to, I guess, just lift up as gentle as I can. I'm gonna have to go a little bit this way just because of the shape. And try not to let it all run off. <laughs> Come back here. And put some on this edge here and do my corners. Still would like to have a nice pour. And I'm debating whether or not I wanna lip it. If I lip it, that'll change everything as well. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I am gonna collect paint off the sides though and use them for my corners. All right, so we're Hmm, 
But that might be kind of interesting if we just leave them all sit just to see how they come out of the cup, right? So if I can do this without, there's plenty of paint on there, so I should be able to leave that there for a second. It can just hang out. And let's do this box lid. Let me get a cup and put it on. Our number two was actually the clock. So let's do the, the clock next. And let's just kind of lift up on that and see what it looks like. Wow, completely different. So the clock had crimson, gold, black, and pink. And you can definitely see the black and pink there. Let me just run my cup around. So that looks drastically different from the first one. That doesn't mean the final result will look different, but let me put that cup in front of that one. I'm hoping I have enough room for you guys. I'm gonna slide him up just a little. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything. So that's the clock. So side one of the box here is pink, crimson, gold, and black. I'm just gonna lift up. And wow, a lot of black. Holy, in a giant bubble. Holy, a lot of black. Hopefully I can spread some of that off. So there's that one that had the crimson and black. And holy cow. Let's try to put some on our corners, whatever's running off. And then the, keeping my cup. And then the other side of the box, box four, this is gold, pink, crimson, and black. So the, the box at least both have black that went in last. Can you guys see that okay? I'm checking to see, make sure you guys can see. You can see most of the uh, clock. Did that help? Oh, well, now you can see the clock, but not the rest. There, okay, so last per side here, and we'll lift straight up on this one. More of the crimson came out of this one. Very interesting. So that's what the four different variations look look like out of the cup. Very interesting. The lid, pink, or black, pink, gold, crimson. Huh. So let's do, let's, uh, so they definitely look different when they're layered different, when they just come out of the cup as best as we could without measuring. Um, and we didn't lip it or do any, or drag it or anything like that. That's just regular flip cup. So let me move things out of my way and let's tilt things around and see how they look with the final outcome. So let me just set this one out of my way and scoot you over to a little bit and they can just hang out. I'm gonna take the box lid here. I'm gonna set it here. And can you guys still see it? Let me move the clock up a little bit and scooch this up and you guys can see that, you can see both, right? Okay, so let's give this a torch, or let's give it a tilt first, I want coverage. So let's swing things down a little, just to get coverage. Doesn't have to be perfect for now, just so we have paint everywhere. All right, and let's give this box top a little torch. Plenty of cells, I say. Yep, I'll stop there. And we'll give this a wiggle around. The gold sheen on top of this is gorgeous, I will say that. 
Not to pick favorites yet, but all right. I don't like my icky corners. So let's get rid of the bikini corners. Like that, a little more. Bring it back to the middle. And slowly make our way over to this corner. Here, get rid of that blob of red. We can use that to pour off that bikini corner, I think. Yeah. And then bring everything back. Oh, I need, I need you to go off. I need coverage on that side, right there. Bring everything back, straighten out my cells. Maybe bring some cells down a little. Hopefully you guys could see me do all that tilting. Let me stare at it a second. That's really pretty, wow. Mm -hmm. I have um, I have the sides taped, but I do have like a lip. So I need to make sure that um, paint has hit the lip. I'd like continuity on those lips to match the top of the boxes. So there's one that's very pretty. So I like that, that outcome very much. Um, so let me pick him up and I'll drop it and just scooch him over here, kind of lengthwise. And we'll pull down, the, whoa, and we'll pull down the clock. So you sit there very precariously and let's do the clock. So the clock was Crimson, gold, black, and pink. And there's the black and pink for sure. So let's tilt it. Those are really interesting cells though. Uh, let's just tilt it for coverage first. Won't worry about what it looks like. That's good. We'll give this a torch. And maybe we'll get that crimson and gold to pop up. I got My gloves are shot. I gotta change gloves. And let's give this a torch. There's the gold coming up. I don't really see any crimson, but we'll see what happens when we give it a stretch. We'll give it a tilt. And throw on some clean gloves. We have, my dog and cat are staying home while we're gone. They're gonna be mad. Mr. Dusty Doodles hates to be boarded though, so he'll be okay. I gotta tell you guys stories about my crazy dog. He's the wackiest golden retriever ever. He's the only golden retriever I know that hates kids and hates other dogs. <laughs> uh, loves grown-ups though. Anyway, uh, I'm not impressed with this with this layering job at all so far. We'll see. Maybe it'll get better. I'm gonna stretch things out. See if I can get some of the crimson. Get rid of some of those weird big cells. And maybe it'll maybe it'll be okay. We'll see. The gold's coming out to play, which is nice. In spots. I don't like this up here. So let me see if I can get rid of some of that. Yeah, that's better. And I'm happy to see the gold, but it really doesn't go in that corner. Like there's nothing else around. It's like just being a little show off. So let's kill it. <laughs> Bye-bye, gold. Just for composition purposes, like it just, you know, if you're gonna have a, a color like that, it needs to be balanced across your painting and not just in one spot. So, um, you know, I need to get rid of it right there too. Yeah. 
very, very different look. Very kind of, there's great cells here. They're just very dark. I'm not so sure what that's gonna look like if I let it dry. I prefer that over this, right? Huge difference. So that's number two. So that clock, that was crimson first, gold, black, and pink. And uh, yeah, really not a fan. I gotta say, not a fan of that at all. Yeah. I wonder if I can get rid of some of that dark area a little bit. Let me play a second. Oh, now I just stretched out that one giant cell. Let me see if it can go off a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Even then, it's still really quite dark in that center, right? So there's the clock. I'll stick him way up here. Now we got the two box sides. So box side number one, this is the pink, crimson, gold, and black. So let me bring this over here. Stretch it out a little bit, get those corners. All right. Something like that, and then we'll give this a straight. That's kind of pretty, just like that, honestly. If this was an experiment, I would stop right there. That's pretty. Let's see if you can get some gold to come up. There's plenty, plenty of cells. Have you guys noticed something? Have you noticed, have you? Have you noticed the uh, lack of caterpillars? Oh my gosh, now this one is gorgeous. I'm just gonna stretch it out to help some of these cells grow. Get rid of the black on that one corner. It doesn't wanna die, go off, there we go. And you still don't wanna go off, off you go. Bring it back, really great balance of colors. That is gorgeous to me. Hopefully you guys try not to drip into the other uh, examples. There's that guy, that was quick and easy. Maybe I take a little more off this one side just because I don't want so much paint on the top of this. So there, I lost a little bit of the black. Cells are nice. That's a winner too. So, so far, the clock is the uh, one that's totally not my preference. We'll put him over here. I'll line them all up at the end. And then the final one, the other side of the box. And this one also had black at the end. So this one was gold, pink, crimson, black. Whereas the other one was pink, crimson, gold, black. So a little bit of different order, but both ending with the black. Let me just stretch this one out a little bit for coverage on my ends and corners here. And I'm not sure I'm liking that hard line of black. Let's see what happens. big cell right like this guy I just totally don't like him at all mm -hmm. and there are two little ones it's better he's probably gonna dive off anyway all right let's tilt this around I'm liking this one as well so I'm gonna go off this edge go ahead on Oh, can you see what I'm doing? 
Let me come up. I'm sorry. I gotta remember you guys. Everything's kind of crammed and on a small. I'm gonna take some off of this one corner down here. Off you go. Off you go. Just because it was a little, little too black, the undertone, and then bring things back, stretch out some cells too. That one's, it's not bad, it's, but the black, I don't like the um, combo of the black and pink. It makes like this weird purpley shade that I'm not real fond of. It doesn't go bad with the other side of the box though. Like they're still close enough that they make, make a match set. Let me bring it over. And then, uh, oops, lost my cup. I'll try to put these side by side. Don't drop it, Karen. Watch your finger. Oh, good job. Can you guys see that side by side? I can't tell. One, sorta. I'll I'll uh, move the camera and get you guys down. Hopefully, you could see most of what I was doing. I can just shift that over a little bit. You can see. So there's all four. My favorite is probably the box top. My least favorite is that clock. It's just. It just came out dark and it's it's just not it's not muddy, but the cell you have dark cells on a dark background, and that's not a good combination. Where here you have dark backgrounds with bright colors. Same with this guy. So when I go to make my client's clock, I'm probably going to go for the same colors in the order of the box side one, which is the pink, crimson, gold, black, because I have an idea, not exactly, of what it'll look like um, compared to the order of the other cups. So let me pop you guys down so you can take a look, tell me what you think in the comments. So here is the box top. Very, very pretty, I think. Very pretty. Hopefully, it looks like it's uh, trying to hold still. It looks blurry to me, but it might just be the angle I'm looking at. But really pretty. Number two, this is the clock. Hopefully, there's not too much of a glare. See what I mean? Like, dark cells on a dark background is just not a good combination. If it was like this end, it'd be really pretty, right? But that just didn't work out, the ordering of colors there. And then here is number three, which is side number one of the box, which to me is just absolutely fabulous. Really, really cool. And then a close second is the other side of the box, number four, the layering. My glasses are gonna fall off my face. And there's the two together, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that was a fun experiment. I like that a lot. A little over half an hour. What are you gonna do? Am I uh, upside down? I might be upside down. No, maybe not. <laughs> I can't tell. I tried, I tried for like 10 minutes to get it like I did last video where you had the perspective that I see instead of like you guys being in front of me on the other side of the counter and I couldn't replicate it. It's just, you know, the video editing is just not my fort. I bow to those other artists that have that down pat that are all polished. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for the love and support as usual. Uh, happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. Gobble, gobble. Um, I'll see you guys in about five, six days when I get back. Take care, y'all. Bye. Hey, everybody, I'm back real quick. So as I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, the colors I chose tonight were at the request of a client for this specific color palette. And so I re-poured the clock in the order of 
number three, which was the first side of those um, purse boxes. So the order was pink, crimson, gold, and black. And it was pretty uh, great in that I got pretty close to the expected results for that order. So I wanted to show you that clock real quick. Let me get you down. So there is the new clock. It's pretty, pretty great. I'm really super happy with the, with the colors and the cells. And it's bright and balanced. Oops, I'm going off. It's bright and balanced. And that's what it looks like. And that was, again, that was side one. The pink, crimson, gold, and black. And just as a quick refresher, sorry for the movement. Pink, crimson, gold, and black. So uh, not too far off. So yeah, pretty stoked about that. So yep, just wanted to show you that uh, the result was pretty consistent. So uh, yeah, over and out. Take care. Bye.